say hello to the camera again? Hey, you. Oh, I know. Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So for the longest time ever I wanted to film this video on some of my favourite skincare content creators and when I say some, honestly there are so many to mention in one single video. So please do expect a part two, a part three, a part four and so on. But yeah, today's video I'm just going to share some of my favourite skincare content creators, whether that be dermatologists, estheticians, um, cosmetic chemists or even actually skin influencers because what a lot of people kind of forget is that skin influencers play a major major part in sort of the cosmetics and beauty industry like you know you kind of as a consumer you kind of go to that skin influencer for product recommendations and to purchase products and for discount codes etc etc and where you then go to the experts on youtube or instagram to sort of get more science based information and just sort of actual factual information but this video is definitely inspired by mad about skins video where he does has is actually done this video quite a few times now so i'll leave his video and also his youtube channel linked in the description box down below because he's worth checking out he's just such an amazing guy but more on that in a minute and just a quick disclaimer i am not an expert nor have i ever claimed to be i am just incredibly passionate about skincare and reviewing products and you know all of that kind of stuff that my bank account absolutely hates me for but yeah I'm just kind of like a skin influencer if you'd like to call me that. And first up we have Dr. Lee who comprise of Dr. Maxfield and Dr. Shah. So their YouTube channel is incredibly informative and educational whilst at the same time being incredibly funny as well. It's great to see two dermatologists bounce off of each other with sometimes different viewpoints on skincare but always come to the same conclusion. At the end of the day, it's about your health, your skin health and really what science is telling us. And also not forgetting they are B E A beautiful. Like seriously, they are so good looking. Like I honestly, I'm just like, whilst also taking in the information of skincare. Let me know down in the comments below, which one kind of floats your boat? Is it Dr. Maxfield or Dr. Shaw? Honestly, I don't know sometimes. Like I kind of jump between each one, depending on kind of, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is getting weird now. Anyway, Simon, I still love you, do not worry. But yes, amazing expert content and really easy and fun to watch as well. So definitely check them out. I also adore watching beauty. I also adore watching beauty within. So now their videos are just jam-packed full of product recommendations and ingredient spotlights. And because they are, you know, two fabulous ladies, so you have Felicia who has oily to acne prone skin, and then you have Rowena who is like dry and dehydrated skin so honestly their videos and product recommendations are suited to everyone and anyone because it just covers a whole different variety of skin types and skin concerns my bank account absolutely hates them because honestly i watched a video of theirs for 20 to 30 minutes and i've spent like 100 pound on staff on it <laughs> but my skin absolutely loves it and that's that's all that matters. And next up we have two fabulous British ladies who are just queens in the cosmetics industry and they are, drum roll please, Caroline Hirons and Nadine Baggett. These queens need no introduction because well, if you follow me, you most certainly follow them. Honestly, they are just incredible and both offer sort of different aspects and viewpoints in sort of the skincare and also the beauty world. So whereas Nadine Baggett kind of features more on beauty and slight makeup for women, um, well not necessarily for women, you know, because beauty doesn't have any gender, but yeah, it's kind of, Nadine focuses more on her channel for that kind of area, and then Caroline Hirons is just sort of like more skincare in general. And the information that Caroline and Nadine sort of say and speak about, you honestly can't trust them, because Caroline has years and years of experience in consulting and then Nadine has years and years of experience in sort of like editorial beauty so there's such a wide 
wide variety of information they can offer and just help us out and give product recommendations. And you can find both of the ladies on Instagram. However, Caroline is more active on Instagram and Instagram Lives, um, whereas Nadine does frequently upload onto YouTube as well. I do love Nadine's product recommendations because she does kind of like focus a lot on UK skincare. So really accessible skincare if you do live in the UK. But I also do love Caroline because of her just being brutally honest and no BS at attitude like her lives are just iconic and moving on i absolutely love michelle from lab muffin beauty science her videos instagram and blog are super informative and super educational she discusses ingredients and products debunks myths like debunks a lot of skincare myths and in general allows us to see skincare from a scientific viewpoint rather than a brand's marketing viewpoint or a consumer's viewpoint. And recently there has been a bit of controversy regarding her inkillish video on the succinic acid blemish or acne treatment. However, her video wasn't to create hate or to create drama or disregard the inkillist or their succinic acid blemish treatment. It was about brands in general and how they market their products to draw in attention and increase sales. I did see some people over on Instagram go quite deep and quite bitter for no reason whatsoever. Like I respect M Michelle a lot more from watching that video because her viewpoint was unbiased and it was kind of risky to talk about a really pro popular and trending product but yet she had that scientific and educational viewpoint and the hate towards that, like I literally just don't get it and I think it's kind of unnecessary. And then moving on, we have another YouTuber who is just incredible and deserves all of his successes and that is James Welsh. So obviously James Welsh is the, you know, the true number one skin influencer and he's just incredible. His kind of like videos are really informative and he supports experts and he also supports skin influencers. I love his videos on how to perfect a skincare routine, his reaction videos to those insane and awful TikTok skincare hack videos like oh no thank you and also he has another YouTube channel with his identical twin called Robert and honestly like go check him out because you will literally be in hysterics on the floor. And then moving on we have other small influences that honestly are just incredible and even Instagram accounts that I absolutely love. Like there are so many Instagram accounts that I just Oh, I'm obsessed with that I kind of need to do a whole video on it. First up we have Rob from Mad About Skin. So I did mention him at the start of the video and I'm mentioning him, him again because he's just an incredible guy. He's literally supported me so much throughout my YouTube journey and I've also been there with him through his YouTube journey as well. He's just an overall fantastic, fantastic guy and he uploads every single day which I'm like how do you even do that like I just oh, I just don't even know how he has time to eat and breathe and drink but yeah his videos are just really informative concise and just really really great videos full of tips and useful tricks and what not to do and what to do and how to get the best out of your products so yeah definitely worth checking him out over on youtube and another smaller youtuber that i absolutely am obsessed with is glow by raymond he is just such a fantastic person and such a breath of fresh air as well like he speaks super super quickly but I kind of feel like that's calming to me. <laughs> I just love watching his videos. They're really fun to watch. They're really creative and really informative as well. He is studying um, cosmetic chemistry. So he has kind of that scientific knowledge as well, but he makes it clear that he is, you know, learning in that. And I think that is really, really sort of great to see is that somebody not trying to be an expert when they're not an expert but also being very transparent as well. And he has a lot of sunscreen reviews from all around the world, which is so great, because obviously sunscreen is the most important step in our daytime routine. So it's really great to kind of find sunscreen brands and products that you wouldn't necessarily have heard of or known of, and they have fantastic formulations, and also sunscreens that kind of 
for sure in white cast is it brown skin friendly is it you know ethically sourced or anything like that so really really great and definitely worth checking him out and finally i have two instagram accounts to finish off part one of my favorite skincare content creators and the first one is rashawn from at glow skin guy so his account is just aesthetically pleasing but also he absolutely loves to review different sunscreens as well he has has dark coloured skin so really great to kind of see how different sunscreen products and formulations are suited to his skin type but he doesn't necessarily just focus on his skin tone he also focuses on sort of the spreadability and the texture of a product and the ingredients in there and what it can do for your skin so very much like Glow by Raymond but kind of just solely on Instagram and also he does post regularly throughout the week as well on different product recommendations and different brands. He has an incredible sort of like set and series of empties and favourites and routine videos are over on his IGTV so definitely worth checking him out as well. He's just incredible and I've seen his Instagram following just explode. And finally we have Eva from at EDB the skincare lover. She is just uh, such an inspirational and amazing woman. Um, a new mum I'm, I'm right to believe. I think she is maybe in the past 12 to 18 months she's a new mum anyway so it is really sort of balancing motherhood and also a love for skincare and how motherhood and a new mum can have effect on the skin so really interesting her account is just honestly a breath of fresh air and so inspiring and just so relatable as well so yeah definitely worth checking her out and giving her a follow because her content is just super relatable and just honest and just real as well and that is just so nice to see with huge amounts of positivity involved as well and of course there are so so many content creators out there that i absolutely love to follow here on youtube and also instagram so yeah expect part two part three part four and more of this video and especially smaller influencers as well so yeah thank you so so much for watching i really do hope you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and also please do give this video a massive thumbs up so yeah i will see you very very soon for a brand new one see you later bye bye